Hi guys, how you going? Welcome back to the channel, or if you're new, welcome. So what we've got here for you today is we've got um, a little project that's put together. There's multiple things that we'll be doing, but in this video in particular, we're going to be handling uh, the pergola um, up above and basically taking you through everything from start to completion. And then this is the finished product, as you can see here now. It came together really well, and there will be separate videos on the grass and the paving and the bamboo as well. So by the time you get through this series of videos, you should be able to take on all of these projects and be able to create something similar or something identical in your own homes at home. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, so we've got the post holes dug. Nice and simple. They don't have to be too big. Um, again, the roof is not, the, it does not have a roof, hence the footings don't need to be deep. All right, once you've worked out the size of the pergola, so what we're doing is prepping the two end pieces first. So the pergola is roughly about four meters wide. Um, so we've got 900 meter, 900 mil divisions. And then what I'm do, the reason they're 900 is because I'm planning on putting these in between. So it's perfect for 900 divisions, okay? And so what we're doing is we've prepped that one. That's the one that's gonna be dynabolted to the wall. So we'll actually pre-drill it all. And then that one's ready to go. And then the one on the opposite side is going to be screwed through with bugle screws. So next step is we'll fix this up to the brick wall and then work out the heights of the posts. So we've got these cypress posts. All right, guys. So we've got our um, beam propped up on the wall. So we've just made a couple of little timber props because uh, this piece of timber is quite really heavy. To prop it up there and hold it in place, we've marked it, got it nice and level. So now we're going to basically uh, mark out where we're going to drill the diner bolts, pre-drill the timber, mark the wall, drill the diner bolts, and then uh, that simple. And then we move to the other end. All right guys, so now we're firmly secured. It's all diner bolted to the bricks. So now we're gonna pop around the other side and we're gonna do this end, get the post in place. All right guys, so next steps is prepping for these side beams. So I've put a couple of blocks in place with some clamps, so that'll take the load of the beam, one on each side. We've got our props from the other side just ready over here, okay? And then you'll see what I'm gonna do with these to, to sustain that. Over here, we've got our two outer beams all cut to size, prepped and ready. And then we've got our posts, i.e. prepped and ready. With the stirrups already on, some bugle screws underneath, it's not going nowhere. Now we'll just go get an extra pair of hands. And um, what we'll do is with this also, um, you can already see after a day how green this stuff is. <laughs> it's bowing. So that'll get, need to get pulled into play, which will be fine. Um, but I'll have to pre-drill those marks where the bugle screws are going. All right, next step. All right, guys, here we are, day three. And I'll just take you through all these steps as to how we got to this point. So starting up at this end. So again, we've got our blocks up here. And the whole purpose of this block is to take the support of this beam. So we can basically lift this beam in place, rest it on that block. And then at this end, we have this post. Now with this post, we want to suspend these posts literally in the air. That actual stirrup is actually floating in the air. You can basically just temporarily brace it, lift the post in place, and then attach this end with the bugle screws. Okay. Drop a spirit level on top of the beam, get it to the level you want, put a little bit of fall in it, and then basically screw off this end screw off that end and then obviously make sure that this post is level this way and this way and then the next step is then this beam and the two props that we had at the other end we've now got these at this end and then basically pop the two props up slide that beam up fix it at this point over here and then you'll find that those two are supporting the beam. And then you can lift this post in place. Okay. 
And as you can see here, it's just floating in the air. Fix that post off, then drop that beam and repeat the process. Okay, so we're at the point now where, and to get this post at the right height, all you do is you just pop a spirit level here, make sure that's nice and level, and then that is directly level to that beam there. And now we're gonna do the concrete. So before we do the, so as we're doing the concrete, we'll mix it up, throw it in the holes, and you'll have a little bit of time to play with it if you need to adjust the position of this post, whether it's this way or this way. Um, and then you can re-brace it until it sets properly. And then once it all sets, we'll take those two props out, uh, which are clamped in place. And that's it. The outer structure is all complete. Hey Macy, what do you reckon? Yeah? <laughs> she approves. All right, let's get these um, posts done. Concrete. All right guys, so one thing I just wanted to stress before we go any further is that these footings or these holes for these posts are not designed for this area to have a roof um, because otherwise the holes need to be substantially deeper and designed differently. So, disclaimer. <laughs> All right guys, so with this next step, what we're gonna do now to make sure it's square is we're gonna measure the distance from this wall to this beam, which is 150.7. And then at this side, has to be exactly the same. All right, now I've measured it and the distance between here and here is actually 146. So it's actually gonna move a whole four centimeters that way. And you can see that in the original hole that I dug, it's actually off to the left too much. So it's all fixed to the wall. So what I'm gonna do is just pop a brace in up here measure it exactly the same distance as the other side, and then push the structure that way. And then she'll be square. All right, guys. So <laughs> you can see we've got lots of clamps and braces in place. All right, so I'll take you through this step here. So like I said before, measure the distance from that beam to the wall there. And then we're gonna put a prop in place off this wall to make sure it's the same distance. Okay, so that makes sure it's square to this side of the house. Then you need to brace it at the opposite side, at the top, and this is going to make sure it doesn't move left or right. Okay, so that's in that top right hand corner over there. Then, absolute must, make sure that this beam is level. <laughs> Once this beam is level, okay, then you can start um, bracing the bottom. And again, I've just secured it off this brace here and off the post. And again, make sure this is level and make sure this pane is level. So it's perfect now. So I can pour concrete, don't have to worry about nothing. Uh, and those braces are pretty solid. Again, you can never have enough clamps. <laughs> um, and then this one here, same deal. This one was pretty straightforward. Just needed to be braced that way because the post was naturally in the right position. All right. So now we're going to pour some concrete, just some quick set, take about 15 minutes and um, we'll let that sit for the day and come back tonight. Alright guys, so for this next step, we're just going to put a block and the clamp there and lift that beam in place on both sides. And as you can see over here, I've already done that, screwed it in with some bugles. So this is the area that's going to end up having all of that decorative panelling. Um, and then the plan is to leave this potentially open. I've put those three joist hangers to put three beams, but I think the wife might have changed her mind <laughs> and might want this area open. So we'll see what happens. It's no big deal. I can always just rip those out. It's just clouds. But uh, yeah, I'm keen to see what this top section here looks like with the panelling. Cool, next step. All right guys, here where we are now. So you can see I've put that center beam in and then I've started putting these cross sections in, these squares. So these are all exactly the same size, uh, 905 by 905. And again, as I mentioned before, 
all of these panels were various different sizes, so I've sort of allowed for all of them. But uh, she's looking quite good. And as you can see, I couldn't wait, so I popped some lights up last, last night. <laughs> Uh, they came from Amazon. Uh, really good, actually. <laughs> They're solar powered. There's a little panel over there, lithium batteries. And you can actually plug them into power, which I thought was quite unique. Anyway, I'll drop a link uh, below. All right, so I'll finish this next section here, and then we'll um, start popping the panels in. Otherwise, I'm getting excited. It's looking good. Uh, and it's Australia Day today, by the way. <laughs> it's extremely hot, so I'm going to try and get some work done in the morning whilst there's just a little bit of shade here. <laughs> Uh, and then um, attack it again tonight. All right, guys, just one thing I'd tell you to do, invest in a body set square, a decent sized one. So when you're putting in all these pieces here, you can check that, check that they're perfectly square. That's an absolute must, because I'm putting in these square panels, everything has to be perfect. So invest in a bit of money <laughs> for these and invest in a bit of time and just take your time. All right, guys, so this next section is a little bit tricky because um, this beam intersects exactly the same point as the beam on the other side, so you actually can't nail in from the other side or screw. So I'll just put a couple of blocks in. <clears throat> Again, I've marked on this beam over here the exact position versus that. I've dropped the square in just to check the angle to get that, make sure it's at the right angle. We'll actually nail in from this side first, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do here. All right, guys, so you can see these perfectly line up. And then all we're going to do is just drive in. And we'll give that a little bit of tap in so it's flush. Now, at the end of the day, these little cross pieces, right, they're not load-bearing in any way. Um, so, hence, I can do this with nails. Again, you can come in from the side here. It's a little bit unsightly, though. You can come in from the other side, just from the angle, and that's what we're going to do with the bottom one. Um, so you won't see them So this is the other side of the beam. So I've just neatly popped in one here And one over there and again, they won't be seen at all drop this block out All right, and from underneath she's perfect And from this side can't see nothing. All right guys, there you go all done you can see it's all perfect. I mean, that's perfectly square. Okay, looking good. Now I'll show you how you're gonna do with these panels. I'm excited, it's looking good. So this design was to suit the particular panels I had, but depending on what panels you have, you might have different shapes and sizes. You'll change the design accordingly. All right, let's go. All right guys, so I'll show you this next step. So all I've done is basically just rip down some 90 by, um, 45 into 20 mil strips and then we've just mitered all the corners now you can put these at basically whatever your level you like i've put them in that level and then just tacked it in with some brads um, and then that should be perfect i'll show you the finished effect um, after we drop the panels in All right, guys, so this is the finished product. It came together pretty easily, so it doesn't take much at all, but you can see how much effect these decorative panels have. And depending on, obviously, there's all different sizes and types and whatnot. But, um, yeah, definitely very impactful in this space. So, and you'll see in future videos how I end up putting the sale up and how it ends up coming together. All right, guys, like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.